<laughs> you see, I was thinking what a lot of guys get their, get their wives at Christmas is yeah. maybe a bit of sexy lingerie. Yeah. But I have to admit, I looked up your wife on the internet and it's, she's all set for sexy she's lingerie. She's all set for sexy lingerie. <laughs> yeah. And tell me, how did you guys meet? <laughs> Uh, we were, uh, I was at a show, uh, doing a show in, uh, in Buenos Aires and uh, I saw her ac across a room when, when my security were throwing me in a van and uh, I was pretty, I was actually really bummed out because I'd seen the most beautiful girl I'd ever seen and I, I my grandfather was with me and I said, you know, Grandpa, that's the most beautiful woman I've ever seen and I'm never going to see her again. And, uh, and a few hours later, it just happened that she had been invited to the same party that I was at and um, she couldn't speak English and I couldn't speak Spanish and she walked in with this, this boy that honestly was incredibly good looking. I felt like a turd because uh, firstly, <laughs> he was, he looked, I'm telling I, you, Brad look, Pitt I'm, is a schmuck compared to this guy. I was telling you this beforehand, you need to have more confidence in yourself. You're yeah. not, not a bad looking yeah. guy, stop putting yourself down Well, like you should that. have seen this guy. I wish I could okay. get on the phone and show you. And I just thought, oh my God, the woman of my dreams and her boyfriend, awesome. Right. And uh, so, I kept trying to find, she didn't speak English, so he did, and I kept trying to find out without being an ass, because, you know, I think it's bad form when you meet a girl if she's with her boyfriend to hit on her. I really do. I think it's just terrible. Yeah, yeah, totally. So I wouldn't. I just kept talking to him. It's just saying, as well for all the guys all over the world that you would never do that, you know that? Because... <laughs> I would never do that. I try yeah, not to even Because it would work. Even on the street, where if I see a hot girl and she's holding a guy's hand, I'll do the quick, like, hey, and that's it. Yeah, because you're married now. No, no. Buble. No. <laughs> Always, That's always, doing that. okay. I hate when a guy, when a guy does that, when a guy, uh -huh. you got a hand, you, you, you're holding your girlfriend's hand, your wife's hand, and a guy gives her the look up and down, and then even turns around, he's saying to you, I can have sex with your woman, and uh -huh. I, will, I will kill him. I will, on the street, pick a fight, I promise you, don't ever look at my wife like that, because okay. I will fuck you up. Okay, okay. <laughs> anyway, no, so, so uh, long story short, I'm now just... I'm just shittered at the table, drunk as a skunk, trying to, trying That's to find out. That's a good way to pick up a woman, though. Like, if there's yeah. a woman you're afraid to talk to, every Irish <laughs> yeah. guy knows, get really, really drunk, and then yeah. go over and yeah. talk to her, yeah? And it finally got to, I, I was so drunk that I kept say, trying to figure out in a roundabout way, you know what I'm saying? Finally, it got to me saying, like, you guys make such a beautiful couple, right? and you're, like, <laughs> so good, like, your arms are so big, and you... Uh, and he said, like, no, you know, we're not together, you know? He, she's not my girlfriend, we are friends. And I said, like, oh, my God, like, this is it for me. And at the same time, I didn't realize that she was texting her mother saying, I'm here with Michael Bublé, and he is so gay. <laughs> <laughs>